differentiating, because this is a recurring question, how to differentiate cellular fibrinoma from a, a low-grade fibrinoma tumor. To diagnose fibrinoma tumor, we need two things, the reflux structures and the high stroma cellularity. If one of these elements is absent, it's a cellular fibrinoma, and there are no reflux structures. Although there is high cellularity, it's, it's a cellular fibrinoma. If there are um, reflux structures and no high solidarity, it's a cellular fibrinoma. And I'll give you examples here. Yeah. Um, and then I'll, I'll show the examples later. And then we have to differentiate between cellular fibrinoma and borderline or malignant fibrinoma tumor. Sometimes you have the region with very high solidarity and high mitotic activity, but no, no reflux structures. So in these cases, I would call it fibrinoma tumor. Usually it's a bold online or malignant tumor. It's getting complicated. But I hope that the examples will clarify the situation. It's a, it's a recurring problem. And then differentiating benign from malignant um, fibrinoma tumor, you rely on mitotic activity as well as the degree of nuclear pleomorphism and the margins of the region. Malignant lesions have high mitotic activity and they have high nuclear pleomorphism, and usually the border of the lesion is infiltrated. So this is a region here where you can see leaf-like structures, but this is an intracanalic fiber because the similarity is minimal, it's not really high at all. So the diagnosis here, although there is what you can call leaf-like structures, system, system where the uh, regions are projected, uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fiber element. So the diagnosis here, fiber element. Leaf like structure is present, but the similarity is low. Now, this one here, there might be some uh, leaf like structures, and there is high similarity, so you've got the two components here. So, this is a fibroid steward straight away. And not only a fibroid steward, but it's a malignant fibroid steward because the similarity you can see the, the whole thing is blue in color, and the cells are very darkly stained, mitotic activity is high. And the region is infiltrated, you can see it infiltrated the fat here. So there is no problem here, this is a malignant fluoride stream. Now this region here, the border is a bit irregular, but the similarity is low, and there is no leaf like structure. So therefore, this is although the border is a bit low, and the radiologist was a bit uh, worried because usually a fiber is not very good sometimes. And here the border was a bit irregular in some areas. I tried to catch it in this picture. But the similarity is low, there is no mitotic figure, uh, and, and there are no leaf like structures. So this is, in spite of the border, still a fiber. Now we come to this leaf, where it's quite obvious that there is, the, the, the border is irregular. The region is a bit infiltrated. Is, you can't really draw a line around this region here. The stroma itself is a bit delicate, or exuminant. There are no leaf like structures. In some areas, the stroma is very highly cellular. Looks like a sarcoma in some areas. And mitotic activity is very high. And T67 is high as well. So, although there are no leaf like structures here, there are malignant changes present in this problem. I'll, I'll, but I, I, there are no leaf like structures, but there are uh, glandular structures present. I can't call it fibrous sarcoma, I'll call it a malignant fibrous tumor because there are glandular elements present. So, to my mind, the most important thing in differentiating cellular fibrinoma from a fibrous tumor is uh, so the diagnosis here is uh, a malignant fibrous tumor. Uh, this is a summary of the tumors. They are not common in general. And most of the cases will turn out to be fine. You know, it's about less than 1% of all breast tumors and less than about 2.5% of uh, fibrocutial lesions. Clinically, the diagnosis is usually um, uh, what favors a fibroid, what favors a fibroid tumor if the tumor is bigger than 4 centimeters, or if it is growing rapidly. 
a, a tumor which is growing rapidly should really be suspicious and we have to consider the possibility of growing the tumor. Four centimeters, we sometimes see fibro in giant fibro nodes which are four centimeters, but that in, in our hospital, any fibro epithelial lesion which is more than three centimeters will be easy move surgically. So a four centimeter, although it's wide, some of these cases will turn out uh, to be the line fiber of the lungs. But a lesion which is rapidly growing, and the patient will say it was a very small limb size, and now it's like an orange or something like that, very quickly within a few weeks, that should, the phylloidist tumor would be high possibility in this case. Microscopically, the important thing is the cellularity, the mitotic activity, and uh, the bones. And that's it.